morning, so sorry I've been MIA for a while, but it's been raining in LA and let's just say the gloominess, the darkness, and having my boyfriend uh, be on vacation just does not make me want to get out of bed anytime soon. So today is Thursday, so I have my pace up. So we're going to just get right into this budget because I was thinking I was going to put it off for tomorrow when I actually get paid, but... I, it's a miracle I got up early enough to film today, so I'm just like, let's just get it on today. So, let's open up my planner. It's so beautiful. This is the Kiki K Wellness Planner. This, These dashboards that everyone's been asking about is from Target. These cash envelopes are from the Budget Mom. I do not make these. These, she has them in her free resource library. You print them out, you tape them up together, and you use them. Now these hard plastic ones that you see right here, these are um, from Budget with Ashley's um, Etsy shop. So that's where I got those. These are just gift cards that I still have from um, um, vacation, I mean from um, Christmas. And this is my sinking fund, um, starting balances and whatnot. I know everyone's interested in an update on my progress tracker. I'm still waiting for some... Um, Things to post I'm not sure why they're not posting but you know I just gotta wait and if it's coming in and out gloomy I'm so sorry this is just LA and I love it because we've never had rain for this song so this is my debt payoff goal tracker now this is where I'm on by weekly so I may let me see if I can zoom you guys in I made like a spreadsheet of how I wanted to do my budget this time around, but we're gonna scratch that out. We're gonna scratch the. This is how I look, by the way. It's just the same layout of what I used to have, but I don't work out with layouts. Layouts don't work out with me, and I'm literally gonna switch it up because this is how I normally budget. I put my bills, my paycheck, my monthly necessities, and my miscellaneous down here, but we're not gonna do that today. I'm I'm not gonna switch it up like a whole ton, but I was listening to some Instagrammers, I think it's Real Sense or something, I, I'm not sure. And then I was also um, looking at Shea Budget's like, Insta stories and she had a very good point that I should, or people should, you know, take their debt-free journey the way they want to take it. And if savings and slowly paying off their debt is their thing, then so be it, it's still going to get paid off. So what I want to do is what real sense is put myself first so instead of listing let me put January bi-weekly up here first because clearly I can barely write while talking now let me pull out my Erin Condren planner so I can see the remaining bills, so I'm just going to put this out in the open really quickly. So I know which, where are we in? March, January. So let me zoom you guys out. God, I should keep it zoomed out for you guys, but then I feel like you guys can't see anything. So as you can see, everything has been paid off. So the only thing that I need to pay off is my student loan and the gas bill. By the way, I didn't do anything with my weight. <laughs> I was like, you know, I ain't got that type of stress in my life. I don't need him. And then I have my sister's birthday this weekend. So we're going to figure this out. So the only thing I need to pay is student loan, gas bill, and put money aside for my sister's birthday. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But I'm going to put it in a different layout. So like I was saying, um, I'm going to lay this out completely different. Uh, not such a big difference but it will be a difference so this one will be from the 18th of January to the 31st yep, 31st oh so this paycheck really does end on January oh nice never had that before so we're gonna zoom in right along P perfect beautiful so I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to put my four walls before. Real Sense was talking about like you need to put yourself first. It's just, it helps your brain just think about, you know, 
you and your necessities and then you think about it and I never thought about it I always thought like this is my debt but I won't pay it until I have all my monthly necessities out so why not just switch it around so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything that's needed and literally that I need to survive so I'm gonna go ahead and put monthly necessities first so I'm putting myself first and my needs so we're gonna get that in and going so let me use this to make it straight can it's so dark in my room that I can't even tell if I'm writing in the correct lines but who cares so monthly necessities so of course I have my rent of five hundred dollars and then I have my uh, natural gas which is ten dollars and then I have my gasoline which is sixty dollars I have laundry that's ten dollars and the biggest change that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm not going to put gro well I can I'm going to put $25 worth of groceries let's just do groceries because I did a subscription box like a day ago on a butcher box which is going to bring me all of my meats and poultries and what uh, to the doorstep and that's going to have to last me for two months so I'm so I'm doing a subscription box so my groceries are going to be pretty low so I'm going to give myself $15 for groceries and this is just to buy like remaining produce that I need but everything that's like meat and whatnot that's gonna be handled through my subscription box and if you guys are wondering well what about everything else like household items drinks my boyfriend also helps with groceries so it's like a win-win situation <clears throat> but that's not what I meant I meant to put as a monthly necessity I'm gonna include savings Now I'm going to do a hundred dollars. Now, if you, what are, if you're thinking, why do you why are you doing savings when you're trying to be in a debt-free journey? Well, I realized that there's things that sometimes come up. Life comes up, you know, s small emergencies come up. And yeah, you have your $1,000 emergency fund. But I was in a situation where that wasn't enough at all. And that scared me and I'm thinking, you know what, a thousand dollars is not enough and I need to just be able to save for myself and you know, it's crazy. And this also scared me because of the government shutdown. People who work for the government and are not getting a paycheck, what are you doing with a thousand dollars? You can't do anything. So you got to put yourself first and your needs and debt will then be paid off. Like I'm intense about it, but I'm more intense about my well-being. So that is what's going on. That is how I'm planning this. I'm coming first now in all of my budgets and everything else that if by any chance I lose my job or anything, that is just going to be like, whatever. So you get me? That's how I'm thinking. So the total need that I have for this pay week is, let me get my calculator. <clears throat> so let's do 500 plus 10 plus 60 plus 10 plus 15. It's five hundred and ninety-five dollars. <throat> and that's how that's going. Okay, so next I'm gonna write out the bills that I need to pay. Actually, let me mark that in blue because it's so pretty. Actually, green. Now, if you guys are wondering why are these color coded, it's just because green is just what I actually have to put for myself and my needs pink is for debt and um purple is for miscellaneous and blue is for my paycheck that's how i broke it down that's how it works in my head so now we're gonna go bills to pay now these bills to pay is debt 
anything that's like electricity or none of this that goes in monthly necessities bills to pay is credit card debt it's you know student loan debt that type of debt loans that goes here that has nothing to do with what I need as a human being to live this is something that I just need to get out of my life essentially so the only bills that I have is student loans student loan because on my previous um, paycheck, remember, I told you this is going to be the week where I find out my my paycheck for the shutdown that I took of basically no pay. Oh, I didn't give myself enough room. Anywho, this is due on the 25th of every month, and it's $140. So that is all that I need to pay. All of it. That's it. Now, once I get that out of the way, then I can go on to miscellaneous. And miscellaneous is basically things I need or want to, you know, put my money towards to. And that's that's all that it is. That That's it. That's basically it. And that has to come after um, my bills because that's just extra income that I can spare. So, let's do miscellaneous. Let's do, where's my ruler? Now, for one thing, I have my shutdown sinking fund. Everyone's asking me, what is shutdown? Shutdown is when my company goes into shutdown for the FDA purposes. It is mandatory. There's no way around it, and that's what it is. I work in pharmaceuticals, so that's what it is. And then I have my sinking funds. And this is now going to be cut down $10 shirts short since my savings is up here. I'm taking savings out of this and just putting just my regular day-to-day -day nonsense. So I want to put, you know, double the amount. But because last, last paycheck, I wasn't able to do that. So I'm going to put, if I had six and each one was 10, 60 times two is 120. So... 50 and 50. I'm going to do 100. 100 for sinking funds. And then my sister's birthday. Sister's birthday. I'm not sure. She wants to go to Boiling Crab, and I'm going to see how much I can budget out of that. So, first, I'm going to put my paycheck. Because this, I, I'm going to figure out how much I can spare for her. I already have a present and I do have a birthday fund that is like 40 bucks. So I'm going to see if I can spare more. Because boy, my crab is expensive, y'all. So let me see. <clears throat> I have $5.95. Wait, 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 wait. I said I was going to show you my paycheck. Y'all, that's not my paycheck. <laughs> let me write down my paycheck. Let me see next. Let me do paycheck. And if you guys want to see, I always show my income. This is the paycheck for shutdown. This is me not working for like four days. So $1,043.71 is what I get paid. I didn't work on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it was not even a full day. So I was like, ugh. I knew this paycheck was going to be low. I thought it was going to be lower than this, so I'm pretty glad there's like 43 more dollars in there, essentially. I actually, I thought I was going to get like nine or $800, so that's not pretty, that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and minus my monthly necessities. Monthly. So let's hope I have enough to last me this entire category. So $1,043.71 minus $595.448. And then minus my debt. So 
So 448 minus 140 is 308. You know, I don't think I included this, did I? I don't think I did. Because if I do 500 plus 10 plus 60 plus 10 no, I have plus no 15. idea what happened, where, where I left off. Because my camera overheated and decided to die on me. But I was telling you guys I didn't add the 100. So I'm going to go from savings to... Uh, my internet here so then I'm left with because it's actually six ninety five not five ninety five. So whatever. So I'm gonna put what is it? Two hundred and eight with seventy one cents left over. Let's see this. Let's see this. So two hundred and eight with seventy one cents minus forty eight of shutdown minus the hundred of sinking funds so let me do minus miscellaneous i'm left with sixty dollars and seventy one cents and that's not including my sister's birthday so let me see let me take out my birthday envelope it's my birthday envelope i'm gonna take out how much i have in here so i have ten 20, 30, and to make it a solid 50, 30, I'm going to do $20 for her, minus 20, I'm left with $40.71 for my snowball. right there now if you're wondering oh your snowball is really tiny yes it is but also my paycheck is if this was not there I mean I would I'm still missing like two hundred dollars worth of money in there two to three hundred dollars worth of money in there then this would probably be a lot bigger so essentially that's what's going on so right here it's total Miss is a hundred sixty eight. So whatever I didn't put for my sinking funds is gonna go in here and then anything extra is gonna go in here as well. Just in case you guys thought like oh you're already putting money towards you know that sinking fund. Well yeah, I'm still gonna keep adding to it just to you know have a more better cushion. So yeah. That is how my paycheck ended up today. So those $40, I'm going to put towards my next debt, which I'm tackling. Oh, and yeah, you guys, you guys wanted to see like an update on this progress tracker that I created. This one right here. So I'm no longer on this page. I'm on this page and I've been working on my um, Toys R Us card. I'm at 200 and something dollars that I need to pay off. I know I need to fill in like half of these, but I don't like filling it out until I pay one off just because interest does accumulate. And if I fill it in and interest accumulates, then whatever I filled in is not correct. You get me? That's, that's my thought process. Um, as for these two medical bills, they haven't posted yet. I don't know what's taking so long, but whatever. I don't care. That's what's been happening. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know about that one. I still have it, but that's how I work with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This um, how I did my budget. Let me see if it's too drastically changed for you. I mean, everything is exactly the same. It's just my priorities of where I lined up everything has changed. I just got to get used to the layout. I need to make sure I put more room for bills to pay and so on and so forth but yes this is how my paycheck for the 18th to the 31st of january looks like i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in my envelope stuffing all right bye you guys